slightly different angle today and that ring light's going to drive me mad and hopefully it won't drive you too mad with the reflection. Today I thought I'd come on and I was looking at books last night or before that. Welcome or welcome back. I've got a few new subscribers lately and I hope you stick around. But as I was saying, last night I was having a little look through a couple of books looking for another project to do for when I finish one of the projects I am doing. And one of the books I found was this book, which is Stylish Succulents to Crochet by Sarah Abondio. I've probably butchered that and I'm really sorry. And... I have, there's two books like this from Search Press, and I have the other one on Kindle, and I have made a cactus from there, or succulent, and it's downstairs, and it worked well, but as I said, it's on Kindle, so I thought I'd show you this book. It's 15 colourful cactuses and other pot plants to make for your home. Now, before... I start this. I don't know how to say half these names or even all these names, so I'm probably not even going to attempt them. Hope you can see that. And what I love about these plants is you crochet the soil, then the plant, and this is natural terracotta pot. I've got some around here somewhere. I went into a craft store one day looking for the little pots and they were a ridiculous price and I went next door to the garden centre that's next door to the next door to hobby craft that I was in at the time and there was something like one pound fifty in hobby craft and fifty P a pot in um the garden centre. So of course I picked up more in the garden centre. I still have a few kicking around. Now it starts off materials and tools. Of course you can make it with whatever yarn you want. But it tells you about things you'll need like the yarn, crochet hooks, hobby wire, Chanel sticks, flower pots and the abbreviations. And this is by search press, so they are in UK definitions. Definition. But it does give you the equivalent terms to UK and US there, so you can. I'm sorry, my brain's not catching up with my mouth today, or my mouth's not catching up with my brain. brain. You can interpret or interchange or adjust your techniques. So even that didn't come out right. It's easy to work out what you're supposed to be doing. It's because I've turned here and it tells you the technique, so it explains the stitches. How to decrease and popcorn stitches and things. And then we move on to um, every one of them has a soil base to go in the pot. Of course, depending on the size of pot or what you're handling using, the soil base will need to be. Or should that be? You need to find a pot for your soil base. Can you tell I'm really tired? Right, this one's called Ichiviria and Itch. That one put me off, it's a lot of sewing together, but. We've got one centre leaf, two in hooves, different in leaves. There's quite a few leaves. But that's it. Oh, flat and see. I'm not even going to give you the name of the next one. You can work that one out yourself. Next one. I 
I show it from the top and from the side. So it gives a love heart effect, doesn't it? I like that one. Fenestraria. I really like that one. I bought this a while back. I read it. Didn't make anything from it. Put it on the shelf and forgot it. I can see if Sam watches this from Anthem's mate, she's going to go, no, 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 no. Lots of popcorn or bubble stitches or whatever on this one. Crust. I'll let you work out the name. If you can read it. This one divided me and my partner from my husband when I got it because he didn't really like it and I did. So that's the name. Oh, mercy. Trump. One banana in orange or orange. It's got to be a better way of showing you this. This new setup's not doing much good. You bear in mind the little plant pots are only about this big, so these are not sort of some of them are only. When I first made the one I did, I put it downstairs in the months my partner's cut tie. And he didn't notice for a few days it was there. Here's one I can pronounce. Aloe vera. Aloe vera. My dad seems to grow a lot of aloe vera. Crassula umbellata. Looks like satellite dishes or UFOs. <laughs> Crassula tecta is next. Oops, sorry, you're moving. Sit from the top. And that's a little picture. Very spiritless. Mm. I'm not too sure about that. The um, dare I say it? It makes me think of a crochet pattern I saw for. So hanky, Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh from South Park. Sorry, my brain just went there. And we've got Escobaria Abedita, which you see a lot of those in garden centres, I think. But the last one I was in there, a lot of them. How about the uh, limit over there? I don't know what it is about this one that makes me think of tarantulas. Maybe it's the spiders. Stripes, like some of the spiders have. 
We've got Sunset, Sunset Vieira, Celebrity. What's the name? There it is. And one last one. Zero Sickles Dangia. I've got no idea. So here it's six ninety nine UK, eleven ninety five US dollars and thirteen ninety five in Canadian dollars. I think I only got this a year or two back. And as I said, it's my search press. So would you make these for your home? I don't have a very good green. I don't have green fingers. I have black ones when it comes to plants there's a few i've managed to keep alive but not very often and my partner's the one that does gardening and keeps plants alive and we have a very our dog maybe five years old next january but i still think she I think she's a young puppy and has a zoomie, so we don't have plant pots around the house. But I think it might be time to start putting a few little ones around to brighten up. So would you make them? Or would you stick to normal plants? Or would you not bother at all? Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I've been rabbiting on for 12 minutes now. And... My throat's a bit dry, so I'm going to go off and find a drink. I'm hoping everybody's having a good day and everybody's doing well. Thank you for spending time with me today, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.